So how do you make a cleanup line with a pencil, like in an animation studio? That's what we're going to be tackling today on this video. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on The Simpsons Television Show. I've been working on the show for over 20 years now. And um, the, I've gotten a uh, question about uh, doing a nice cleanup line like the cleanup artists do in a traditional hand-drawn animated uh, uh, movie or TV show. Now, two people have asked me about uh, this topic specifically. Uh, my patron on Patreon, Anastasia, has asked me about this. And uh, one of uh, and there was a comment by Christopher who also wanted to know about this. Um, it's a skill that comes in handy, uh, not necessarily because you're going to want to have a job doing cleanup line, uh, but because uh, sometimes you just want to have a super crisp line on your final drawing that looks clean and professional. So I've, uh, I've told this story before, but I'm going to just set this up really quick. When I was taking animation classes, my teacher uh, was a very wise man, and he told us uh, that whenever we were asked to do something uh, that we probably couldn't do, we should answer yes. He told the story of a friend of his who was a photographer uh, without very much experience, and he was asked if uh, he could do a wedding, I think. And he said, yeah, no problem. I do weddings all the time. And then uh, when the person left, now having had the job, he ran to find the information he needed to be able to take the photographs to be able to do something like a wedding. And that kind of resonated with me. So one day, uh, years and years later, uh, there was, I was at work on The Simpsons, and uh, one of the production people who was working on a side project asked, came up to me and asked me if I could do cleanup, because uh, they needed a cleanup person to uh, do final cleanup line on uh, some animation that uh, another one of my coworkers had animated. And I said, yeah, sure, I, could, I do that all the time. And for, it was for a church's chicken commercial. So, um, and, uh, and uh, maybe I'll link to it. If I could find the, the commercial, I'll link to it. And I'll show you what, uh, what commercial that is. Like I said, I said, uh, sure, I could do that. But the thing is that I had never done uh, cleanup before, ever. Uh, in, well, that's not true. I took a in between class. I took a cleanup class. And in that cleanup class at the animation union, uh, they didn't really teach us how to do a very good job doing cleanup. So I still didn't know. I knew how to do in between, but I didn't know how to do the, the final line cleanup uh, in a professional manner. So as soon as the guy left, uh, oh yeah, so he gave me a big stack of stuff and he's like, here you go, boom. And it was like a fat stack of like uh, animation that I needed to not only clean up, but I had to in between. So... I'm like, okay, here we go. Uh, and then I started to panic because I had no idea what the heck I was doing. So fortunately for me, um, the question was asked either in the morning or mid mid evening, the, the day near the end of the day. So what I ended up doing was I ended up calling a friend of mine who is a cleanup artist at Disney who I went to school with. And I asked him if we could have lunch. So... Um, I forgot if it was that exact same day or the day after, but um, I ended up uh, going to clean up uh, to to hit to, to to the Disney studio to have lunch with him. But we didn't really have lunch. He just took me into his cubicle and gave me a lesson uh, in a nutshell on how to do a cleanup line that looks professional. And now I'm going to show you exactly what he taught me. <laughs> Uh, so I've set up a camera here that hopefully uh, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. Um, I have my paper on my uh, desk here um, and I've got my equipment. So before I begin telling you how to do, um, showing you how to do it, I will tell you how to do it. So what you first have to start with is a rough. So I'm going to be working off of a drawing that I have here that I've done before already 
it's just going to be a Batman drawing. It's kind of rough and it's it's okay. So so uh, I'm going to use this as my guide. And yeah, it's not an animation drawing, that traditional, but um, it doesn't matter. Um, I did draw it rough. It is in color uh, color erase pencil. Um, but this is where you start. Okay. Then what you would do is you would take a kneaded eraser. This is one of these, um, uh, you know, art erasers that are kind of gummy and they stretch. Um, these are very, very handy because they don't erase. They, they, they tend to soften lines rather than erase completely the lines. Okay. I'll show you how he showed me how to use it. Then um, when you start doing the cleanup line, what I like to use is a, a mechanical pencil. Now I use a mechanical pencil because I don't want to be um, uh, sharpening my pencil all the time. It is not mandatory to use a mechanical pencil. You do not have to. You could use a regular pencil. It's just personal preference. If you want a mechanical pen, if you want to use a pencil, ideally what you want to use is a, a hard lead pencil, one that won't be too soft so that um, uh, it'll stay sharp longer. Okay. This one is not a, a hard lead. This is actually, I think it's a 2B or, yeah, it's a 2B uh, softness. So um, I use a, it's, it's mechanical, but, uh, and this is a 0.5. Um, mechanical pencil. Uh, you could use a 0.7. So it's it's up to you. It's up. It's it's your pre personal preference. Um, so when you when you work with the 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 drawing, what you're going to want is to work with the natural pivots of your arm, your elbow your wrists and your fingers okay so you have to try to find the net whatever is comfortable which means that you're pretty much going to be doing one stroke all the time very rarely will you be making anything too crazy you're just going to be doing one stroke most of the time with with your mostly with your with your arm starting at the elbow and you're going to be rotating the paper a lot so it's good to have this here I have a little piece of tape stuck on the corner in case I want to stop and just have it just kind of because my my desk is inclined I don't and, and and things tend to slip out slip down so I have a tape where I just it, it stays in place uh, usually when you do this in animation you have peg bars and they have pegs and you don't have to worry about anything slipping but I'm not using that right now I'm just using a regular piece of paper so I could show you how to do it with a regular piece of paper because nobody tends to have a disc with a peg bar. So what you would end up doing is you you have the you hold the your your pencil and you're going through it and what you're doing is building the line. You're going over your own line little by little, little by little to build the line like that. Okay? Boom, 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 boom. And I'll show you how that happens and what the result is. Um eventually the more you do it as I was doing the cleanup on that uh, commercial what I discovered is that I started getting more confident so at first I started with very small lines but as I did it I started getting far farther lines to build on and I started getting more control and more confidence so by the time I finished my project I was doing one stroke cleanup lines because the repetition uh, becomes muscle memory and the muscle memory becomes uh, skill. It just becomes a habit. It becomes habitual. Your, your lines just start naturally getting better. Uh, so uh, it's just going to be repetition. You're just going to keep doing it. It is tricky. It is tricky. Ideally, you don't want the lines to be a little thick in spots and then, you know, it's going to be tricky. Don't be afraid to use a regular eraser and take that stuff off. You know, take that those mistakes out. All right. 
So let's get to it. I'm going to show you how to do this. I'm going to set up the start up the camera here. Let's see if I can get it so that you're going to be able to see what I'm doing. All right, so you know it's serious because I'm going to take off my glasses. Just make sure that everything looks good. Checking the camera here. All right. So the first thing we're going to have to do is now that we have this rough, uh, I take my kneaded eraser and I do this kind of a roll thing above the paper. Now this is the way my, my friend taught me over in, at Disney. Uh, you could also just kind of drag The, uh, the kneaded eraser across. The trick is just to lighten up the line enough so that it so that it's almost invisible but you can still see what you're supposed to be doing. And yes kids this is the way that we did um, opacity opaquing or opacity uh, doing the opacity uh, bar uh, uh, on analog uh, paper. Now that everything is lightened up I take my my pencil and I will start building the line little by little. So whatever is comfortable for me to like be able to pivot, that's what I'm going to do. I just go over it, starting a little bit further back. turning the paper so that I can go with the natural pivots of my body and take your time there is no rush here you're not this isn't a race this isn't how fast can you do it You want precise, controlled lines. Building it little by little. And if you screw up like I did right here, it's a little wobbly and shaky. There's this thing called an eraser. You can use that. That's better. So that's the benefit of using a pencil when you're doing this, these cleanup lines is that yeah it's not like inking because you can erase don't want to erase too much because you may tear the paper you may um, abuse the paper and uh, it may smudge the line there's a lot of different things that may happen accidentally when you are erasing. But you're just building the line little by little. Now, these areas are you know very small areas so um, they're a little bit easier to work with. The tricky parts come when you're making la large areas like like say that I'm gonna work on on this area here on this shoulder so there's a big curve here
you can see how I'm building the line here a lot more clearly. I'll do it again. Hopefully I'm not going off the paper here. Here we go. Try to get the, the light in here. So you're just building the line. You don't want this kind of variation. In not an animate in not an animation cleanup anyway. You don't want a variation. Unless that was the style of that particular movie. Like Hercules had a thick and thin to it. But usually you just want a straight clean line. Here's another curve here, so I'll show you. This is a much steeper curve. So I'm building it this way. And no, this doesn't just, it, this isn't like automatic. It takes a little bit of practice. But as you do it, you get a little bit faster. So hopefully this is the this example is helping show you how it's done. Now I'm going to repeat what I said about building the line. So first start with a rough drawing, preferably in color erase pencil, so that you know what you're going to be cleaning up. Then get a kneaded eraser and lighten up the line, the rough line work. You're going to want to do that so that you have something to work off of. You don't want it to be too invisible or else you mess yourself up because you won't know what to clean up. On the other hand, you don't want it to stay so that your final cleanup line looks like the final cleanup line and it's not too rough. Second, go with the natural pivots when you're doing the line. Go to the, with the natural pivots of your arm, wrist, shoulder, fingers. Okay, that's how um, you're able to control these lines. To that end, you're going to be rotating the paper around a lot. It's okay to rotate the paper. In fact, it's necessary and mandatory. And then you build the line slowly. It isn't a race. It takes a little bit of practice. A little as you go, you will get a little faster. You will get more confident. Um, but at first, it's okay. Just build the line slowly. As far as tools, you can use a mechanical pencil. That's my personal preference, but you don't have to. If you use a regular pencil, you're going to be you're going to be sharpening a lot. And if you want it to the 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 lead to last longest, you're probably going to use an HB lead hardness or harder to do the line work.
And the more you do it, the faster you get. It just comes with practice. Oops, see that? I don't want that. That's too thick on one end and it gets thinner on the other and that's not the ideal. It's better. Okay. Does that make sense? So that's how you do a professional cleanup line. Can you imagine doing this every day, all day long, 24 hours a day? That's what the cleanup artist did at Disney. For years and years and years. For hundreds of drawings. And that is a terrible, terrible line. See, I'm starting to rush. Becoming more and more impatient. You don't want to do that. If you want it to look professional, and this type of cleanup line isn't just for doing. Animation cleanup, I know of, I have a friend who does character design. The character designs need to have this type, type of line for his final designs. Okay. Is that good? All right. So um, I hope that answers your question. Um, I hope this has really been helpful. This is exactly what uh, my friend at Disney taught me. And now I'm teaching it to you. So now you know how to do it. This is just, this is, that's the way it's done. Just build slowly. So you get better at it as you go. And uh, yeah, I hope, I hope this answers your question. I hope this answers the mysteries of the universe. If you found this video valuable, I would like to encourage you to return value for value by becoming one of my patrons over on Patreon. Not only will you encourage me to continue making informative videos that are useful to you, but you get extra perks too. For only a small investment of a dollar a month, you can get all new videos I create months before anyone else gets to see it. Also, if you have any questions you'd like me to answer as a patron, you get priority and I answer your questions first. On top of that, when you're a patron at any level, you become part of a raffle where I send original art via mail to the winner of that month. The higher the, your tier, the better your opportunity to win. Higher tier patrons also get access to any art I do in high res JPEGs and also full access to PSD files to any work I do, including the PSD files of these videos. Currently, there's a huge backlog of downloadable files you can get. So right away, you're going to get quite a lot of bang for your buck. And the more patrons I get, the better these videos will get. The more content I can produce. In other words, the more you benefit. Please consider becoming a patron. Thanks. The link to my Patreon is on the screen and in the description of this video. And um, I will talk to you next time. All right. Bye.